सिलेबस एंड द पोर्शन ऑफ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ बिफोर आई मूव अहेड में आप लोगों को एक छोटी चीज बताना चाहती हूँ दैट देर आर सेवरल टॉपिक्स विच माइट नॉट बी डिरेक्टली मैं in the syllabus but it is understood that you people have to prepare accordingly for example agar aap log syllabus clearly dekhenge yahan pe bahut sari cheeze outrightly nahi batayi jati hai and many students stay in this misconception that even if you do not prepare this topic it is okay we cannot do that you have to prepare those topics so i will tell you what are the extra topics kaun kaun se topics mein kya kya hai what are the special classes or free classes that i have taken so that in case you people are in doubt you can always revisit those classes and see those and it's for all because special classes as i keep telling you is example this class special classes are free so whichever special classes i have taken from these topics many many of these topics i have covered only through special classes so you can always revisit them and watch them in case of any doubts you people have so we start with the first topic that is social structure many of you are unaware on what to read about social structure guys social structure ka topic maine aap logo ko igno series mein padhaya hai if you go to my channel and go to special classes in the recent special classes of the last 2 3 months you will see that i have taken certain igno classes based on basic concepts where in social structure you have to read some very famous debates for example the debate between brown and strauss what these people have talked about social stru structure iske alawa aur bhi kafi sare log hain lesser known for example sf nadel edmund leach these are certain lesser known people who have also given theories about social structure so you have to be very well aware of that for example brown kehte hain social structure ek empirical reality hai levi strauss says that no it is not a reality it is only a model likewise there are many such topics which are there so you have to revisit them and see them carefully can my students tell me in case you people are updated with all the classes who is the first person who gave the concept of social structure let me see how many of you have been regular with the classes and you know who is that person who first gave the theory of social structure i want everybody to answer and not just my plus students otherwise there is no point of taking free classes yes very good it is herbert spencer who starts with the idea of social structure in his book the first principles can you tell me who is that person who first talks about the idea of economic structure economic structure pe kisne sabse pehle zor diya tha very good it is karl marx so read the questions very carefully whether the question is asking about social structure or economic structure economic structure hoga to hamara answer marx ho jayega yes uske baad hum aate hain culture ke topic mein many of you think that in this topic of culture you just have to know the definition of what is culture etc no apart from the major definitions that we read in culture you have to read several concepts there are multiple concepts related to culture for example cultural trade cultural dope cultural assimilation cultural accommodation etc and the whole topic of culture i had taught you people in free classes on special classes so those students who have missed i think i had taken three classes on culture maine teen classes liya tha culture pe sirf aur sirf culture ke topics ko cover karte hue starting to end all the important definitions definitions plus concept कॉन्सेप्ट के बाद हमारा ये टॉपिक आता है कल्चर चेंज कैसे होता है हाउ डज कल्चर चेंज सो चेंज में हम लोग सेवरल टाइप्स ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट पढ़ते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल डिफ्यूजन एसिमिलेशन इसके बाद एकोमोडेशन ये सारे बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स हैं एंड वी नीड टू बी वेरी क्लियर विथ वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वॉट इन केस एनी ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स राइट नाउ हु आर लाइव do not know the difference you can always ask me but first let me give you a brief outline of the syllabus uske baad we can go on solving the queries that you people might have okay नेटवर्क के टॉपिक में बहुत सारे चीजें आते हैं नेटवर्क का टॉपिक बहुत क्लियरली कवर्ड है इग्नू में हवे वर यू डोंट हैव टू गो इन टू दैट डिटेल्स यू जस्ट नीड टू नो हु आर द पीपल हु हैव स्पोकन अबाउट द आइडिया ऑफ नेटवर्क नाउ नेटवर्क के टॉपिक में बहुत सारी चीजें आ सकती हैं फॉर एग्जांपल who first talked about the idea of network can anybody tell me who is the first thinker who has spoken about the idea of network can anybody tell me who has first talked talked about the idea of network 
no the names that you are giving me are different you are giving me the name of manuel castells who talks about network society no castells ne to network society ke bare mein kaha hai we did this in one of the mcqs that means you people are not aware or you people do not remember when i do mcqs with you people in the month of january maine ek youtube class liya tha i think in the month of january or december i don't recall where we had done this topic that who is the first thinker who spoke about the idea of network no guys castles only talks about network society the first person who to talk about this is j barnes Now you will tell me that ये नाम तो आप लोगों ने सुना ही नहीं because you people do not recall the YouTube classes. Bruno Latter का जो नाम आप लोग मुझे बता रहे हैं वो दूसरे हैं Bruno Latter talks about the actor network theory. Very good. Bruno Latter का theory का नाम है actor network theory जो कि obviously is related to theory but it is something little different, not exactly related to the idea of network. Okay. Uh, all of these yes please do not keep asking me the same question again and again i made one video on jnu on youtube and i repeatedly told there that any class that i take on ugc net has to be referred to from the perspective of ug uh, the jnu or the other ma exams as well so don't keep asking me the same question again and again whether this is required for ma students or not don't do that yes uh definitely it will be recorded those students who have joined late can always watch the class later on okay now those students who are giving me doubts from the gate paper i know it's pretty late i have been telling that gate question paper i will be uploading on youtube but i have classes the whole day so i'm not getting time at all to upload the gate question paper but most probably before 10th april i will be uploading that paper maybe in this weekend when i get some time i will discuss the gate paper with you all so don't worry yes so any queries you people have from the gate paper i will be resolving them in that youtube video all right uh all right let's come back and see what are the other topics so network may you have to see these several parts the first person who talks about it is jay barnes iske alawa actor network theory given by bruno latter actor network theory is very very simple where he simply talks about that hamare day to day life mein hum log jo bhi cheeze karte hain wahan pe we not only talk about the individuals we are interacting with but also the material things jaise abhi main mera laptop use kar rahi hu pen use kar rahi hu i am using my spectacles these are also very important part of our day to day interactions every sources that you come across yes and castles ka network society you people already know the society that we have come across after the coming of ict information communication technology ke baad jo bhi hamara society aaya hai that is the network society yes uh those students who are asking me to solve the rpsc 2014 paper please send the paper to me on telegram so that i can discuss with you in some of the youtube class okay all right now the next topic is completely related to status and role those students who have attended my first series of foundation classes can you tell me that you people have attended the class on status and role or not status and role is not as simple as it looks like sirf status or role se question nahi pucha jayega bahut sare alag terms aate hain jaise role set मल्टीपल रोल्स स्टेटस सेट किसने क्या कॉन्सेप्ट दिया है किसने फोकस किया है सोशल स्ट्रक्चर में रोल पे रोल नेटवर्क पे किसने बात किया है फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सोशल स्ट्रक्चर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सोशल स्ट्रक्चर उस सोशल स्ट्रक्चर के डेफिनेशन में रोल नेटवर्क पे किसने फोकस किया था हु फोकस्ड ऑन रोल नेटवर्क वाइल स्पीकिंग अबाउट सोशल स्ट्रक्चर कैन एनी बडी टेल मी very good very good it is sf nadal so you people need to have these concepts in your fingertips so that you people do not come across any such doubt yes acha mujhe ye bataiye who has given the concept of um, polar status can you tell me polar status ka concept kisne diya hai if you people have attended all the foundation classes polar stat status kis ka theory hai very less students are answering i can see only my plus students answer what about the special class students jabki ye sare topics special classes mein covered hui hai very good it is linton but then i want i want the new people to prompt it faster more than the people who are giving already the answers yes 
वेरी गुड नाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स कीप इन दिस डाउट की आइडेंटिटी के टॉपिक में हम लोग क्या पढ़ते हैं इफ यू सी द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट सिलेबस वेरी वेरी केयरफुली दैट इज ऑफ यूनिट थ्री यू माइट सी कि सोशलाइजेशन पे कोई अलग से वर्ड नहीं मैंशन है डू यू रियलाइज दैट आइडेंटिटी में हम लोग स्पेसिफिकली सोशलाइजेशन थियरीज पढ़ते हैं so just in case you people were preparing the syllabus without looking at the topic of socialization then you cannot do that socialization ke topics mein bahut sare thinkers ke hum log theories padhte hain for example before going into the different theories you need to know the different types of socialization what are they primary secondary adult रिसोशलाइजेशन उसके बाद एंटिसिपेटरी सोशलाइजेशन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू पीपल टू नो डू यू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज ये सारे मीनिंग्स आप लोगों को पता है एनीबडी हु गेट्स स्टक विथ एनी वर्ड प्लीज आस्क इमीडिएटली बिकॉज वी विल नॉट बी रिवाइजिंग दीज कॉन्सेप्ट अगेन इन अ लेटर टाइम यस now after these types of socialization what do we read we read about different theories okay very good see now that i asked you people aap log abhi mujhe pooch rahe hain ab tak to nahi poocha so ye cheez nahi hona chahiye main koi bhi word likhu any word that i write if you people come across any such doubt you have to ask me okay now In case of adult socialization, we talk about the things that we learn when we grow up. हम लोग जब grow up करते हैं वो सारे topics हम लोग देखते हैं For example, job कैसे करना है क्या नहीं Learning about the things that we do generally in the adult phase. So it is nothing to related with, nothing related with any specific kind of socialization, but things that we learn in the later phase of our life. Job करना है income करना है नहीं तो हमें नहीं मिलेगा खाना etc these kind of things come under the topic of adult socialization uske baad many of you asked me the meaning of anticipatory guys anticipatory socialization was given by morton second cheez aap logo ko ye janna hai ki anticipatory mein the word anticipation means expect koi cheez ko expect karna that means ki aap koi cheez banna chahte hain you want to become something therefore you are training yourself to become like that for the future for example you want to become an ias officer but for that you need to start preparing aapko padhna padega you have to go through training etc those are all examples of anticipatory socialization okay now let's come to the idea of re-socialization many of you asked me this as well re-socialization tab hota hai when you start socializing yourself again ekdam nayi tarike se you are starting to socialize yourself again in a new manner right from the scratch for example if i send you to jail agar main aapko jail mein bhej du ya fir aap army ke barrack mein rehte hain ya fir mental asylum mein rehte hain yahan pe kya hoga you need to re-socialize yourself the things that you do now you cannot do that in the jail you cannot do that if you are staying in an army barrack or in mental asylum yes so re socialization can happen otherwise also for example you have lived in the prison for 20 years dekhte hain ki aap log 20 years uh, prison mein rahe hain uske baad when you come out of the prison after 20 years you need to learn certain things again for example those people who went to prison before 20 years did not know what is mobile phone mobile phone internet they did not know anything about these concepts so when they come out of the jail they have to learn again they have to socialize themselves again yes and this is talked of by government am i clear is this point clear till now now socialization ke theories mein you need to go through a lot of theories for example by that of freud where freud talks about many different levels different levels like ego super ego id etc uske baad uh, people can you not disturb me in between class when i'm telling something because it re it's really disturbing anything that has nothing to do with this class or this topic do not comment right now I already told you that utilize the Telegram channel for asking me your queries, which are not related to the class that I'm teaching right now. Do not do that; otherwise, I'll have to stop my comment section because I get distracted. I have to speak, so if I, if you people keep commenting random things, I get distracted. Yes. Freud ke baad hum log padte hain kuli ke baare mein. 
उसके बाद वी रीड अबाउट मीट ऑफकोर्स मीट भी एनी वे रीड वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर जी एच मीट फ्रॉम यूनिट वन कल भी मैंने आप लोगों को बताया था I think not कल परसों जब हमने यूनिट वन का क्लास लिया था वहां पे आई है मेनी टॉपिक्स बाई मीट यस उसके बाद पियाजे उसके बाद एरिक एरिक्सन ना वाई इज एरिक एरिक्सन इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ही इज द वन हु गेव द आइडिया ऑफ आइडेंटिटी क्राइसिस so when we talk about identity as a topic you need to know about identity crisis as well that happens when when you are in your adolescent period yes uh basil bernstein very good bernstein aur ek thinker hai hamare jin jinhone language codes diya tha hame day to day life mein hum log kya language codes use karte hain and it's a pyq also so you cannot take it lightly yes so these are certain theories that we read under the theory of socialization you cannot keep them aside if you people are doing self study make sure that you are covering these topics yes very good language codes means day to day life mein hum log kaisi bhasha use karte hain for example when you are talking to your parents you will use certain kind of language when you are talking to your boss or your professor you will use certain kind of formal language so this is what he talks about in terms of codes there are different codes when we talk about when we talk to different kind of people in our day to day life okay so please keep these topics in mind do not skip them uske baad hum aate hain community now you just don't have to read about community but also you need to read it in relation to the idea of association very very important any guide book that you are following anything anything that you are following we come across these topics that community is something jo naturally formed hota hai association is something which we artificially create for example we have created the telegram group now telegram group is an example of community or association can you tell me jo humne telegram group banaya hai hamare students ke liye which category will it come under association yes because we have made it artificially to meet certain goals but associ but communities are not built artificially it is something that comes naturally and has a specific territory which might not be the case with association can you tell me let me check how many of you know can you tell me is caste an example of community can you tell me is caste an example of community community very good very good most of you have given the correct answer caste is not an example of community tribe is an example of community very good why because caste does not have a specific territory territory nahi hota hai hum log ye nahi bol sakte hain ki sare brahmins sare kshatriyas ek hi jagah pe rehte hain agar territory fixed hota to hum log bol sakte the ki caste hai community for example tribe is a community why is tribe a community kyunki tribe ek to naturally formed hua hai aur wo log specific territory mein bhi rehte hain am i clear acha somebody asked what is the meaning of identity crisis guys identity crisis happens in the time of teenage or adolescence where we do not know hum log kya kar rahe hain kya nahi we generally become antagonistic to our parents ki ye hame nahi samajh pa rahe hain they are not able to understand us we become very uh, antagonistic rebellious towards our parents etc so you have a kind of crisis that who you are what you will do in your life that is what erickson calls identity crisis ओके अच्छा सो कम्युनिटी का टॉपिक यू नीड टू रीड विद एसोसिएशन एज वेल डू नॉट लीव इट अच्छा कैन यू टेल मी हु हैज गिवन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वर्चुअल कम्युनिटी कैन एनीबॉडी टेल मी हु हैज गिवन द आइडिया ऑफ वर्चुअल कम्युनिटी वेरी गुड इट्स होवर्ड राइन गोल्ड हु गिव्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वर्चुअल कम्युनिटी सो इन बिटवीन आई कीप ऑन आस्किंग यू क्वेश्चंस जस्ट टू चेक whether you people are well aware of this or not now coming to the idea of diaspora can you tell me how many of you do not know what is the idea of diaspora kitne logo ko nahi pata hai diaspora kya hai और मुझे ये भी आपको बताना है यू ऑल्सो नीड टू टेल मी कि diaspora word सबसे पहले किन लोगों के लिए यूज किया गया था who were the people for who we use the word diaspora for the first time very good we use diaspora for the first time for jews diaspora wo population hai let's assume this is your motherland okay jahan pe you are born motherland okay however for some reason you have been forced out of your motherland forcibly are jews from iran jews are from israel yes 
यू हैव बीन फोर्सिबली थ्रोन आउट ऑफ योर मदरलैंड जिससे क्या हो गया है आपका पॉपुलेशन अभी स्कैटर्ड हो गया है कुछ लोग यहाँ रहते हैं कुछ लोग यहाँ रहते हैं एक्सेट्रा हाउ एवर द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट दायसपोरा इज नॉट जस्ट स्कैटर्ड पॉपुलेशन बट इमोशनल अटैचमेंट these people do not live in their original land anymore but they are emotionally attached to their land yes i'm repeating it guys these topics i will not teach you again so this is your last chance to ask me any doubts you have from these topics if you people are doing self study you can also get to know ki kya kya padhna hai kya nahi so do not take these revision classes lightly okay they have been forcibly thrown out Definitely not voluntary. They are not voluntary. So emotional attachment अभी भी रहा है हम लोग इंडियन पार्टीशन का भी एग्जाम्पल ले सकते हैं बहुत सारे लोग पंजाब से इंडिया आए पाकिस्तान से इंडिया आए इंडिया से पाकिस्तान गए पर कहीं ना कहीं दी माइट स्टिल फील कनेक्टेड टू देर ओरिजिनल मदरलैंड दैट इज द आइडिया ऑफ डायस पॉडर एम आई क्लियर और एक चीज आप लोगों को बताना है दैट जूस के लिए और एक वर्ड स्पेसिफिकली आया था सबसे पहले कैन यू टेल मी विच वन इज दैट जूस के लिए और एक वर्ड आया था वेरी गुड दैट इज घेटो वेरी गुड द वर्ड घेटो दैट वी स्टडी इन अर्बन सोशोलॉजी दैट इज स्लम्स ऑफ स्पेसिफिक एथनिक पॉपुलेशन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट घेटो वर्ड भी ओरिजिनली लुइस वर्थ ने यूज किया था Jews के लिए जो यूरोप में सेटल हो गए थे दो जूस विच केम एंड स्टार्टेड सेटलिंग इन यूरोप इन स्मॉल स्लम्स ओके विल यू रिमेंबर दैट अच्छा नाउ लेट मी आस्क यू सर्टेन जी के क्वेश्चन कैन यू टेल मी विच कम्युनिटी हैज द लार्जेस्ट डायस्पोरा इन द वर्ल्ड विच कम्युनिटी हैज द लार्जेस्ट डायस्पोरा इन द वर्ल्ड वेरी गुड लिसन टू माई क्वेश्चन केयरफुल वॉट डिड आई आस्क हाइएस्ट डायस्पोरा कौन से कम्युनिटी का है वेरी वेरी गुड फिर से आप लोगों ने गलत आंसर दिया सो दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक विद द क्वेश्चन आई टॉट यू पीपल दिस टॉपिक सो वेल इसके बाद भी आप लोग गलत आंसर देते हैं आई डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू विथ यू पीपल नाउ रिमेंबर कंट्री वाइज हाइएस्ट डायस्पोरा इज इंडियंस नंबर वाइज ओके इंडियन सबसे ज्यादा अपने कंट्री से बाहर रहते हैं हाउ एवर इसमें एक थोड़ा ट्विस्ट है दैट इज आजकल डायस्पोरा वर्ड को लोग इंटरचेंजेबली यूज करते हैं एनआरआई जैसे पीपल हु गो आउट टू वर्क मूव आउट टू वर्क एक्सेट्रा Yes, but actually the real meaning of diaspora was not that. Diaspora were those people who were forcibly thrown out of their own country. Okay? Now, the next question you have to remember community which lives outside their own country is jews yani ki jews are such community jo apne desh se bahar zyada rehte hain there is a difference between these two questions do not confuse both of them main aapko samjhati hu what is the difference between indians indians and jews india mein kitne indians rehte hain how many indians live in in india give me an approx number give me an approx number how many indians live in india around 1.2 1.3 billion india se aapko lagta hai ki 1.3 billion se zyada indians bahar rehte hain no right more people do not stay outside right there are more people living within india whereas in case of jews kya hua hai israel mein jitne jews hain usse zyada jews bahar zyada rehte hain so there is a difference between these two questions okay so do not confuse both of them am i clear now is it clear ज्यादा लोग अपने कंट्री से बाहर कौन रहते हैं आर जूस एम आई क्लियर वेरी गुड सो कीप दीज थिंग्स इन माइंड डू नॉट टेल मी अभी मैंने पूछा हाइएस्ट डायस्पोरा क्या है सम स्टूडेंट्स आर टेलिंग मी पंजाबीज नो यस वेरी गुड लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट वन सो रोहिंग रिसेंटली फ्रॉम म्यांमार आर अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डायस्पोरा ओके अच्छा next we come to the topic of values norms and rules this also i taught you people in the topic of foundation class so those students who have not watched foundation classes please do because many in topics ko when diagram bana ke samjhaya hai along with keywords what is value 
what is norms what is folk ways what is mores now see folk ways mores are words which are not mentioned here but if you people do not know they are sub types of norms okay jaise folk ways ho gaya mores ho gaya taboo ho gaya if you people ask me to arrange them even now we can do that for example values are the most abstract form values ke baad aata hai norms foundation classes are in special classes those students who have not watched go to my profile go to special classes special classes this for example you guys are attending a special class which are free life classes so there i taught many topics which includes one that is the whole series of foundation to sociology so you can watch these topics there yes acha norms ke baad aata hai folk ways फोकवेज के बाद आता है मोरेज एंड लास्ट में टैबू यस वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट की फोक वैल्यूज आर स्टिल सोशल डिजायरेबिलिटी की इफ यू पीपल वॉन्ट टू यू कैन स्टे लाइक दैट जनरल सोशल प्रेफरेंस बट नॉर्म्स आर स्पेसिफिक सोशल गाइडेंस यस सो हम लोग यहाँ पे सोशल प्रेफरेंसेस लिखेंगे एज अ की वर्ड नॉर्म्स आर जेनरल गाइड गाइडलाइंस or what is the other word can you tell me what is the other word that i gave you for norms another specific keyword i gave you for norms what is that very good social expectations very good folk ways are liberal liberal hote hain agar aap karna chahte hain kar sakte hain if you don't want to do you might not for example folding your hands saying hello hi these are that but mores are very very strict very strict you cannot do these things or you have to do that thing for example you cannot walk around naked in the society it's must you must follow what are the mores of the society and taboos are the extreme negative norms jise aap bilkul bhi nahi kar sakte complete prohibition complete prohibition for example incest taboo you cannot marry your own relative yes very good so remember these things acha can you tell me folk ways or mores ka concept kisne diya tha who has given the topic of folkways and mores sunna w g sunna in his book folkways folkway ka aur ek naam hai can you tell me what was that customs very good so please remember these these are very very important those students who have not watched can always watch personhood habitus and agency personhood is nothing but socialization jahan pe hum ek real person bante hain after the whole socialization we go through in our whole life habitus is a topic given by burdo habitus has been discussed in detail by burdo there are many thinkers who have spoken about habitus before but it's burdo who finally talks about it habitus is nothing but our life हम लोग कैसे जीते हैं हमारे लाइफ को रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस जो हमने सीखे हैं हमारे लाइफ में थ्रू सोशलाइजेशन यस एजेंसी इज अ टॉपिक व्हिच मींस व्हाट इन सोशियोलॉजी कैन यू टेल मी एजेंसी का मतलब क्या है व्हाट इज द सोशियोलॉजिकल मीनिंग ऑफ एजेंसी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कैन टेल मी व्हाट इज द सोशियोलॉजिकल मीनिंग वेरी गुड फ्रीडम डिसीजन मेकिंग पावर मेरा विल मैं कितना प्रैक्टिस कर पा रही हूँ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई गिव यू अटेंस दैट इन इंडिया वुमेन डू नॉट हैव एजेंसी दैट मीन्स वुमेन डू नॉट हैव द इंडिपेंडेंट पावर टू टेक देयर ओन डिसीजन यस विल यू रिमेंबर एजेंसी पे बहुत सारे इंपॉर्टेंट काम हुए हैं बट वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्क ऑन एजेंसी वॉज डन बाई गिडन्स इन हिज थियरी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरेशन वेर ही सेज दैट इट्स नॉट जस्ट आर एजेंसी एंड नॉट जस्ट द स्ट्रक्चर बट बोथ आर इंपॉर्टेंट बोथ हेल्प इच आदर हम भी स्ट्रक्चर को बनाते हैं सोसाइटी भी हमें इन रिटर्न बनाता है इट्स अ ड्यूएलिटी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर यस वेरी गुड दो स्टूडेंट्स हु डू नॉट नो द थियरी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरेशन लास्ट ईयर आई हैड मेड अ वीडियो ऑन यूट्यूब ऑन स्ट्रक्चरेशन सो इफ यू जस्ट टाइप स्ट्रक्चरेशन अंतरा यू विल फाइंड दैट वीडियो एंड प्लीज वॉच दैट इन केस यू हैव नॉट और यू डू नॉट नो वॉट इज एंथनी किडन्स Agency theory or the structuration theory. All right. Acha. Bureaucracy. Me. Hamlo. Kaun sa topic parte hain? Can you tell me? Bureaucracy is a topic where we study three people. Remember, we study three people: Weber, Peter Blau, and R. K. Merton. Very good. Now, for those students who are confused, ki ye Merton or Blau kahan se aa gaye? Weber to obviously gave the theory of bureaucracy. 
along with the features you have to remember what is bureaucracy what not this completely formal impersonal written rules hierarchy these are some specific things that you need to know apart from that there are two criticisms there are two criticisms of the theory of bureaucracy by weber given by blau and martin blau ne kaha tha ki sirf formal relations kaam nahi karta bureaucracy mein bureaucracy mein informal relations bhi bahut important hota hai and i think india is a very good example of that that if you need a job and your parents or your relatives have a good position you can easily get that job through nepotism or corruption so it's not always true that bureaucracy only functions through formal relations okay martin talks about the idea of red tapeism and bureaucratic personality extreme bureaucracy agar kisi bhi society mein aa jayega to wahan pe red tapeism aa jata hai that means it's complete coercive and pressurized society where you have एक्सट्रीम सेट ऑफ रूल्स रेगुलेशन लोग वहां पर बहुत ही ज्यादा ऑफ्रेस होते हैं येस एक आयरन केज की तरह बन जाता है रेड टेपिज्म इज अ वर्ड विच ट्रांसलेट्स टू हिंदी एज लाल फिताशाही विच मीन्स दैट इट्स एन एक्सट्रीमली ब्यूरोक्रेटिक एक्सट्रीमली रेग्यूलाइज एज इन रेग्यूलेटेड सोसाइटी विच इज अंडर रूल्स रेगुलेशन यू के नॉट डू एनी थिंग ऑन योर ओन ओके नाउ वट इज दी आइडिया ऑफ ब्यूरोक्रेटिक पर्सनैलिटी मॉर्टन ने कहा था That bureaucracy में रहते रहते लोगों का personality भी वैसी बन जाती है So people who play the role of boss, their own personality in their personal personal lives also become like that. People who are doing subordinate jobs in real life also their uh, whole personality becomes very very subordinate like and like the way they work in their offices. Yes. I always give the example of myself that since the time I have started teaching, I have to scold my students because आप लोग तो पढ़ते नहीं हैं. And at home also, I also became like that. At home also, I start scolding people. ये वो. So which is a very good example of bureaucratic personality. Okay, very good. Now let us see the other topics. Bureaucracy के बाद हम पढ़ते हैं power और authority के बारे में. Now listen to me very carefully what I say. Power और authority में हम लोग कौन से topics पढ़ते हैं? फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑथोरिटी का टॉपिक पे हम लोग किस किसको पढ़ते हैं वेबर को वेरी गुड एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ अथॉरिटी कैरिज्मैटिक रैशनल लीगल ट्रेडिशनल यस नाउ पावर के टॉपिक में देर आर टू थियोरिटिकल कंसर्न्स दैट यू नीड टू नो द मेजर थियोरिटिकल कंसर्न्स वन जो एलिट वाले थियोरी को सपोर्ट करते हैं दूसरा जो प्लूरलिस्ट होते हैं एलिट वाले थियोरिस्ट ये बोलते हैं कि सोसाइटी में एक ही इंसान या फिर कुछ ही लोगों के पास पावर हो सकता है बट प्लूरलिस्ट वाले दे से दे नो एट द सेम टाइम देर माइट बी मेनी पीपल और ग्रुप्स ऑफ पीपल हु माइट और पोजेस पावर इन दिस सोसाइटी ओके नाउ एलिट के फॉलोअर है मिल्स मॉस्का देर इज पेरेटो एंड देर इज मिशेल्स these are the four people who give the theory of elite theory of power so you have to read them in detail pluralist mein hum log rakhte rakhte hain robert dal ko very very important okay and not just robert dal there are several more people like steven lukes this time in jnu there was a question from steven lukes theory of power now apart from that you can also see some more theories for example yes david truman very good Some of the people who belong to the conflict theory. अब conflict theory में किसने क्या क्या बोला है Conflict theory में हम लोग रखते हैं डेरेंडॉफ को who focused on the idea of authority in society. जिसके पास authority होगा उसी के पास power होगा Yes? Marx, डेरेंडॉफ कोजर दीज काइंड ऑफ पीपल बट नॉट जस्ट दैट देर आर मोर पीपल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन एवोल्यूशनरी स्कूल वी पुट Lenski, Lenski is the one who said that power evolves like other things. So Lenski को हम लोग conflict में नहीं रखते हैं. Okay, power का कोई theory नहीं दिया है Spencer ने. We are talking about specific power theories. Am I clear? Yes. Collins also conflict. Collins is also somebody who comes under conflict. Yes. Very good. <coughs> Now, apart from that, there is one more person जिन्होंने एक अलग ही perspective दिया था power पे Can you tell me power पे knowledge को किसने connect किया था 
सोसाइटी में पावर और नॉलेज इंटर रिलेटेड है हम उन्हें अलग नहीं कर सकते वेरी गुड मिशेल फुको very good it is michel foucault who says that power and knowledge cannot be separated in society people who have power they only are considered knowledgeable otherwise not okay the reverse was given by francis bacon francis bacon said knowledge is power but foucault said power is knowledge very good will you remember this so this is a brief outline of the topic of powers that you need to see uske baad we see the topic of marriage family kinship now marriage family kinship mein kya kya cheeze aap logo ko focus karna hai let me tell you of course unit 8 if you see unit 8 family marriage kinship it covers the topic completely but even then i'll tell you a brief outline of what are the things that you need to see सबसे पहली बात आपको क्या करना है डेफिनेशंस हु हैज गिवन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ डेफिनेशंस लास्ट टाइम आई हैड टेकन मेगा क्लासेस ऑन डेफिनेशंस ऑन यूट्यूब सो यू कैन रेफर टू दैट यस नो नो डेफिनेटली इट इज नॉट ओनली बाय ब्लड किनशिप हैपेंस इन टू वेज वन बाय मैरिज वन बाय ब्लड एक्चुअली देर इज थर्ड टाइप ऑल्सो दैट इज बाय एडोप्शन बट एडोप्शन को हम लोग बाई ब्लड ही लीगली कंसिडर करते हैं ओके सो किनशिप के टाइप्स आप लोगों को पढ़ना है by blood by marriage by adoption and not just that fictive as well yes very good people who are not at all related to you but you still consider them your relative for example gandhi ko hum log bapu bulate hain that does not mean that he is your real father but we are considering him like our father so they are our fake relatives hum log gaon mein bulate hain bhaiya didi etc in villages or our relatives we call many people uncle aunty they are not related to us but fictive yes वेरी गुड सुडो यस रिचुअल भी हो सकता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर लॉट ऑफ रिलीजियस सेंट्स दैट वी फॉलो वी कॉल देम फादर और वी कॉल देम बाबा एक्सेट्रा नाउ दीज पीपल आर नॉट आर रिलेटिव सो दे आर अ काइंड ऑफ रिचुअल किन टू अस थ्रू रिचुअल वी आर क्रिएटिंग दोज किनशिप विद देम ओके सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक अबाउट हु टॉक अबाउट वॉट येस फॉर एग्जाम्पल बाबा रामदेव ना बाबा रामदेव से वी डोंट मीन दैट इज आर रियल फादर we are just referring to him with that term yes very good now godfather and pater are completely different they are not at all connected godfather is somebody who is like your ritual father pater means in those societies jahan pe multiple husbands hote hain wife ke mano there is one wife and that one wife has five husbands so the child that she will have we don't know ki iske iske papa kaun hai therefore in society we do a social ritual through which a social father is chosen that is known as pater clear for example the bro at bro, the uh, kya kehte hain bow and arrow ceremony within the todas clear acha now so definitions ke baad you study the types and different thinkers for example which thinker have given which type very very important murdock ne kitne types diye same for everything family marriage kinship everything okay morgan ne kitne types diye hain so for example major thinkers are murdock morgan westermark many many people it's not just one but many people in fact in india also there are so many people who have worked on them for example srinivas dube Kolenda, Kathleen Gough, Iravati Karve, many many people in India you will find in this whole set of people working on family marriage and kinship. So in marriage also there are different types, different <coughs> different types of tribal marriages, different types of Hindu marriages, different types of Muslim marriages, types of divorce, divorce के भी types आप लोगों को देखना है. Yes. उसके बाद किनशिप में तो है ही हमारे अलग अलग किनशिप टर्मिनोलॉजीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल एवॉयडेंस टेक्नोनोमी इन विच ट्राइब्स डू वी सी टेक्नोनोमी बींग प्रैक्टिस दिस इज एक्चुअली अ वेरी वेरी डाइवर्स टॉपिक फैमिली मैरिज किनशिप बहुत लोगों को लगता है इट्स एन इजी टॉपिक बट इट इज नॉट इट्स अ वेरी वेरी ब्रॉड टॉपिक इट हैज अ लॉट ऑफ स्मॉल स्मॉल डिटेलिंग सो दो स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव बीन देयर ऑन माई प्लस आई हैव टॉट यू एवरीथिंग दैट कम्स अंडर दिस टॉपिक सो आई होप यू पीपल हैव रेड एंड प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ अकॉर्डिंगली येस अब जैसे मुस्लिम्स में देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डिवोर्स खुला मुबारक कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन खुला एंड मुबारक क्या है ऑफकोर्स देर आर सेवरल मोर टाइप्स बट आई एम आस्किंग यू फ्रॉम खुला एंड मुबारक 
very good in mubarak mutually the divorce is fetched in kula the women initiates the divorce so these are some small things that you people need to remember yes acha apart from that there are a lot of laws and years associated for example special marriage act hindu marriage act the muslim marriage act etc very very important dowry ke related bahut sare hain domestic violence se related bahut sare hain like that okay every year for example hindu succession act kab aaya can you tell me hindu succession act kab aaya when did the hindu succession act come very good 1956 so you have to remember these accordingly i'm just giving a brief outline so that those students who are doing self study can make the maximum out of these yes acha uske baad we come to different social institutions for example what is the difference between daya bhaga and mitakshara there is a very small trick through which you can remember the difference between daya bhaga and mitakshara i'm pretty sure my plus students already know about that very good d se death aata hai d death the first letter is death uh, sorry d and d for daya bhaga so in daya bhaga system until and unless the death of the head happens people cannot get property you need to wait for the death of the head of the family uske baad only you will get the property but in mitakshara as soon as you are born you are already a coparsonary in the property okay right from birth will you remember this trick so i remembered it this way and i never forgot after this so in mitakshara the moment you are born you are a part of your property but in daya bhaga you have to wait for the death of the head of the family then only you will get the property okay very good easy way to remember nahi to nahi yaad rahega these are very complicated terms otherwise yes acha now economy polity religion education laws and customs these are all different types of social institutions for example in economy what are the things that you need to see what are the types economy mein types kya the sabse pehle kya tha hunting gathering uske baad shifting agriculture then agriculture then industrial revolution now post industrial revolution so you have to remember this whole chronology apart from that you also need to know who has talked about what for example post industrial ke bare mein sabse pehle kisne bola tha can you tell me पोस्ट इंडस्ट्रियल के बारे में सबसे पहले किसने कहा था यस देर आर टू पीपल दैट वी स्टडी वन इज एल एन टोरेन द अदर इज डैनियल बेल हु टॉक अबाउट द पोस्ट इंडस्ट्रियल सोसाइटी सो यू आल्सो नीड टू नो द फीचर्स ऑफ दिस द पोस्ट इंडस्ट्रियल सोसाइटी और इंडस्ट्रियल सोसाइटी में एक डिफरेंस क्या है कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडस्ट्रियल एंड पोस्ट इंडस्ट्रियल tell me one difference the most important difference very good under post industrial the tertiary sector develops or what we call the service sector but in industrial society jab industrial revolution hua tha tab kaun sa sector badha tha manufacturing sector factories etc remember this very very important difference between these two okay iske alawa you also need to remember that there are several uh types of exchange that we study in economy for example barter system gift system money system these kind of systems jajmani system mein kya hota hai acha can you tell me jajmani system is a gift system or a barter system let me see how many of you give me the correct answer jajmani system jo india mein paya jata hai it's a gift system or a barter system very good it is a barter system people are not giving free gifts Very good. ये एक बार्टर सिस्टम है जहां पे आपके सर्विसेज के लिए आपको पेमेंट दी जाएगी विलियम एच वाइजर स्टडी द टॉपिक ऑफ बार्टर सिस्टम वेरी मच इन डिटेल ओके अच्छा नाउ लेट्स कम टू द आइडिया ऑफ पॉलिटी अंडर पॉलिटी यू नीड टू अगेन नो द टाइप्स कैसे स्टेट आया स्टेट फॉर्मेशन थियोरीज सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट थियोरी यू हैव द फियर थियोरी दिस थियोरी दैट थियोरी उसके बाद टाइप्स क्या है टोटलिटेरियन गवर्नमेंट क्या होता है ऑथोरिटेरियन गवर्नमेंट क्या होता है मोनार्की क्या होता है एरिस्टोक्रेसी क्या होती है दीज काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक्स डू यू पीपल नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज इफ यू गेट स्टक इन एनी वर्ड प्लीज राइट एन आस्क मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग मी सो यू नीड टू डू दैट बिकॉज ये टॉपिक हम लोग यूनिट वाइज फिर से नहीं रिवाइज करने वाले हैं स्पेशल क्लासेस में ओके okay? 
totalitarian and anarchy anarchy means where there is no state there is no government totalitarian means a government which is so strong that it does not let you do anything on your own no freedom of citizens okay yes uske baad religion mein we study different types like north korea is an example of a totalitarian government yes religion mein you need to be very clear with what is animism एनिमैटिज्म उसके बाद टोटेमिज्म आजकल के टॉपिक फॉर एग्जांपल सेक्युलरिज्म नाउ दो स्टूडेंट्स हु डू नॉट नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज व्हाट यू कैन डू इज लास्ट ईयर आई हैड टॉट द टॉपिक ऑफ रिलीजन अंडर स्पेशल क्लास सो इफ यू गो टू माय प्रोफाइल एंड सर्च द थियरीज ऑफ रिलीजन for those students who are free learners i'm not talking about the plus students i have already taught you these on plus but those who are doing self study aapko nahi pata ye sare topics aap wo ek ghante ka class dekh sakte hain ye sare topics maine samjhaya tha animism animatism totemism secularism sab kuch okay oligarchy guys the meaning of oligarchy means oli means a few kuch log oligarchy means archy ka matlab hai to rule so kuch logo ka rule only a few people are ruling means oligarchy okay yes very good education mein bahut sare theories you need to study let me give you a brief outline education mein kya theories padhna hota hai the different perspectives under education number 1 is the functionalists functionalist mein kaun aate hain durkheim and parsons education ka topic also last year i had taught on the special class so those students who are doing self study can attend that conflict mein kaun se log aate hain let me see do you people know who are the people under conflict very good althuser ivan ilich marx has never spoken about education who else no other name kuch yaad nahi hai plus students to bata do you people have learned it althuser ilich and क्या नाम बता रहे हैं आप लोग हेबरमस हसेल क्या कॉन्फ्लिक्ट स्कूल से बिलोंग करते हैं एंड आई हैव नॉट टॉट यू पीपल एनी एजुकेशन थियरी बाय हेबरमस सीरियसली पैथेटिक द मोस्ट इनसिंसियर बैच आई हैव एवर गॉटन इज दिस बैच गांधी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट थियरी वेरी गुड हु एल्स I I will not move ahead if you do not give me that name I am looking for. The most important name you people have not given me. Most important name under conflict theory of education is Paul. I don't know. I don't know. Paul Paul भी बोल दिया अभी आगे बोलो. Paul Brass Derendorf. Very good. Paul Baden, very good. I'm liking it. जो आप जो वेराइटी नाम आप लोग मुझे दे रहे हैं लेजर स्पेल्ड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड उसके बाद वी टॉक अबाउट मोर सच पीपल फॉर एग्जाम्पल बोल्स एंड जिंटिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पीपल आम द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन सो यू नीड टू रीड ऑल ऑफ दीज इन केस यू पीपल आर फ्री लर्नर्स आपको नहीं पता ये लोग क्या है क्या बोला यू कैन अटेंड दैट स्पेशल क्लास दैट आई टुक लास्ट ईयर ओके नाउ लेट्स सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अदर टॉपिक्स इन अदर टॉपिक्स यू नीड टू नो वेरी क्लियर डिफरेंस बिटवीन सोशल डिफरेंस हर आर की इन इक्वालिटी मार्जिनलाइजेशन आई गिव यू अ ब्रीफ आउटलाइन ऑफ वॉट दे आर जस्ट इन केस यू पीपल डू नॉट नो सोशल इन इक्वालिटी में वी जस्ट हैव डिफरेंट ग्रुप हु डू नॉट हैव एक्सेस टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स इस ग्रुप के पास ज्यादा है इसमें कम है इसमें थोड़ा और है लाइक दिस बट दिस विल बिकम सोशल स्ट्रेटिफिकेशन वेन वेन वी पुट दैम इन अर आर की सो पूरा रैंकिंग जब डालेंगे तब जाके ये सोशल स्ट्रेटिफिकेशन कहलाएगा सो हायर आर की इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग to become social stratification otherwise it will not be called social stratification am i clear what is the meaning of marginalization marginalization means in a society if we push certain people to the ends through social exclusion kya aap log included nahi ho hamare society mein you are untouchable so we have pushed you apart neglected like dalits etc you deprive these people they become marginalized okay 
सो so, मार्जिनलाइजेशन का यही मतलब है कि आप एकदम कॉर्नर में इनको धकेल देते हैं एम आई क्लियर ट्रांसजेंडर्स यस वेरी मच क्लियर उसके बाद वी कम टू द टॉपिक ऑफ कास्ट एंड क्लास जेंडर सेक्सुअलिटी डिजेबिलिटी दीज आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रेटिफिकेशन सो अंडर कास्ट यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेल रेड ऑन द थियरीज ऑफ वेबा व्हाट ही टॉक्स अबाउट कास्ट इन इंडिया श्रीनिवास लुई दुमो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेम्स घोड़े दुमो एसेट्रा क्लास में कैन यू टेल मी वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेम अपार्ट फ्रॉम मार्क्स डू नॉट टेल मी मार्क्स मार्क्स के अलावा can shudra category come under marginalization yes why not can be very good class weber yes who else lloyd warner very good lloyd warner who was a follower of weber and he made the status reputational model on this yes these are very very important india mein andre bete aa gaye andre bete ne kya bola weber ke model ko leke very important topics uske baad gender sexuality mein i have taught you people in free classes the theories of feminism please watch those those students who have not watched the classes on feminism that i have taken on special class i think i took this in the month of january or december everything related to feminism first school of feminism second school third school different waves liberal radical marxist socialist post modern cultural very very important yes i have taught you in a way that you will never ever forget agar wo class dekha to koi bhi question aa jaye you can answer them right race tribe ethnicity mein hum log different types padhte hain jaise race kya hai can you tell me race ke topic mein hum log sabse important thinker kinhe padhte hain who is the most important thinker under race yes rizle w e b du bois very good rizle to hai hi india ke context mein hatton bhi hai g s ghude hai but w e b du bois internationally sabse important thinker aate hain hamare okay acha tribe and ethnicity also goes the same i have taught you people tribe last year in special class to wo classes aap log dekh sakte ho yes social change kaise hota hai i have taught this topics in culture ke class only for example evolution kya hai diffusion kya hai मॉडर्नाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट में मैंने लास्ट ईयर एक पूरा क्लास लिया था थियरीज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट वॉट इज द मॉडर्नाइजेशन स्कूल हाउ इज इट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द डेवलपमेंट स्कूल यस फॉर एग्जाम्पल रोस्टोस थियरी डेवलपमेंट में हम लोग पढ़ते हैं डिपेंडेंसी स्कूल दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड एवरीथिंग आई हैव टॉट इन फ्री क्लासेस सो यू कैन यूटिलाइज देम वेरी वेल यस ग्लोबलाइजेशन में ऑफकोर्स हम लोग पढ़ते हैं कैसे ग्लोबलाइजेशन हुआ किसने किसने क्या कहा एंथनी गिडन्स ने क्या कहा बाकी लोगों ने क्या कहा सोशल मोबिलिटी के टाइप्स में जल्दी से आप लोगों को बता दू सो दैट यू पीपल आर नॉट कंफ्यूज सोशल मोबिलिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हम लोग कुछ एक्स्ट्रा टॉपिक्स तो पढ़ते ही है जैसे हमारे संस्कृतिजेशन हो गया यस yes? Sorokin is one thinker who has written extensively on social mobility. Yes. Now, one is called horizontal. Dusra is called vertical. Under vertical, you either move up or down. Horizontal, the level remains the same. Your status does not change. There is another called upward or downward. Which are sub types of vertical, of course. If your job is good, then you will go upward. If your job is chali gayi you do a worse job now worse than what you were doing before then a downward mobility yes uske baad you have inter and intra generational inter means two generation if your father was something and you have done something else then intra means only within your generation apne generation mein aapne kya kya yes very good there is another type by turner known as contest and sponsored mobility contest mein sab log compete kar rahe hote hain jaise aap log compete kar rahe ho aap logo mein se kuch logo ko jrf milega to contest mobility mein jin logo ko jrf milega wo automatically upar chale jayenge sponsored mobility mein kya hota hai ki main aap logo ko guide karungi i'll back you people aapko compete nahi karna hai through nepotism maine aapko mobility de diya to fir ye sponsored ho jayega yes My clear, absolute relative B हो सकता है, etc. But these are the most important जहाँ से questions आते हैं. उसके बाद हमारा जो topic होता है social change का, you have to know several theories from social change. Inter and intra is not anybody's concept. Okay? अच्छा, social sinking बोला था downward को सोरोकिन ने, social climbing बोला था upward को सोरोकिन ने. Okay? 
सोशल चेंज में हम लोग पढ़ते हैं एवोल्यूशनरी थियोरी फॉर एग्जांपल ऑगस्ट कोर्ट्स पेंसर मार्क्स ऑल दिस पीपल जिन लोगों ने कहा है सोसाइटी एक जगह से दूसरी जगह तक गई है यस yes. उसके बाद सर्कुलर सर्कुलर में किसी किसी हम लोग रखते हैं सोरोकिन पेरेटो टॉइन बी स्पेंगल सर्कुलर में इन लोगों ने कहा है कि हमारा सोसाइटी साइक्लिकल तरीके से आगे चलता है साइक्लिकल तरीके से दीज आर ऑल सर्कुलर और साइक्लिकल थियरीज इट माइट गो अप अगेन इट कम्स डाउन अगेन गोज अप नॉट इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके इट कैन बी सर्वाइविंग अराउंड द सेम सर्कल ऑल्सो ओके विल यू रिमेंबर दीज दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अंडर दैट उसके अलावा कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में भी हम लोग काफी सारे पढ़ते हैं कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में हम लोग मार्क्स को पढ़ते हैं मार्क्स ने क्या कहा है क्या नहीं यस yes? मुझे इतना सारा कैसे याद है बिकॉज मैं तीन साल से पढ़ा रही हूँ सो आई हैव लर्न ऑल दीज यू कैन क्या कहते हैं इफ इफ यू पीपल स्टडी लाइक द वे आई हैव व्हाई नॉट बट पीपल डोंट स्टडी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में डेड एंड ऑफ एक्सेट्रा यस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस इज दर व्यू ऑफ यस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ऑल द नेम्स वेरी मच Now, this is the overview of basic concepts, and I wanted to do certain questions with you people, but then there isn't much time left. So tomorrow, in tomorrow's class, no social deviance का topic net के syllabus में नहीं है. Interaction, yes, interaction में see interaction में हम लोग क्या क्या पढ़ते हैं? ये रहा topic social processes and interaction. यहाँ पे I have not yet taken I have not yet taken uh, this topic in special class maybe I will do this this week itself जहाँ पे हम पढ़ेंगे कि हम society में interact कैसे करते हैं कब conflict करते हैं कब cooperate करते हैं accommodate कब करते हैं these topics okay yes और एक topic आता है जो मैं बोलना भूल गई groups types of groups किसने क्या group कहा है crowd का मतलब क्या है mob का मतलब क्या है these things dual consciousness is a term given by W E B uh, sorry Antonio Gramsci which means the proletariat think about themselves in two ways one what they think about them one how the other people are thinking about them quasi groups is a concept given by uh, what do you call uh, Baltimore and uh, Who is the other person? Ginsburg, Morris Ginsburg and Baltimore, who have given the idea of quasi group. यानि कि ये group तो है, पर सारे features नहीं हैं उनमें. For example, जो लोग हर सुबह सात बजे की train लेते हैं, वो एक example होते हैं quasi group का. No, Derendorf does not come under quasi group. That is the problem with you people. Derendorf does not talk about quasi group. While he is talking about conflict theory, that is when he is talking about quasi interest groups, conflict groups, etc. But quasi group is not a concept of Derendorf. Of. Yes, so be care, very very careful with these things. नहीं तो फिर यही गलती करेंगे आप लोग. All right. अच्छा. So tomorrow in the first five minutes I'll do certain MCQs with you people, but uh, not today. Okay. Sociology is a study of social groups. I think was said by Johnson. If I'm not wrong, please correct me. I'm not very sure. PDF you can download yourself. PDF you can always download after two three hours with annotations. Please download. And यहाँ पे सारे MCQs मैंने already दे के रखी हैं. जो कल के क्लास में हम लोग सॉल्व करेंगे ओके ड्यूअल कॉन्शियसनेस इज बाय ग्रामशी यस दैट्स व्हाट आई सेड डबल कॉन्शियसनेस इज बाय डब्ल्यू ई बी टू बॉय एम आई क्लियर ओके देन सो आई लिव यू पीपल हियर आई होप यू पीपल गॉट सम आइडिया अबाउट द सिलेबस दो स्टूडेंट्स हु वांट टू जॉइन प्लस यू पीपल ऑलरेडी नो द प्रोसेस कल हम लोग यूनिट टू uh, करेंगे दिन के 12 बजे और रात के 9 बजे यूनिट 4 Is that okay? JNU ke exam me till now they have not introduced negative marking. Don't know if they do it this time. Okay, all right. So good night, everyone. Bye. I'll see you put people tomorrow at twelve people twelve p.m. sharp. Okay. Bye, everyone. Good night.